Hey friends, this is Rick. And Denise. And today we're in the airport on the way to a meeting and we want to talk to you about Acts 10.38. And in fact, this week we want to talk to our friends about Acts 10.38 every day. Acts 10.38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost and, and with power, power who went about doing, doing good, good and healing all that were oppressed of, of the devil. devil. What does that word mean to be anointed? Well, the word anointed, you know, we think, oh, it's so anointed. Wow, did you feel that? It's so anointed. What does it mean to be anointed? What does the word anointed mean? Could you describe that? If somebody asked you, what does it really mean to be anointed? The word anointed is the Greek word krio. And the word krio describes the application of oil. But it's not just like turning a bottle upside down and pouring oil on somebody. The word anoint means to put oil on your hands and then to turn your hands downward and rub it into someone else. It was really a medical term. Or with your hands, you apply the oil. So when you talk about the anointing, you're talking about a hands-on experience, a personal application of the Holy Spirit. So if Denise sings a song and people say, wow, that was so anointed, and usually it is when she sings, it really means the hand of God was on Denise while she sang. If you say that a church is anointed, you're saying that the hand of God is on a church. If you say, well, I've read this book and this book is so anointed it's touched my life, the hand of God in a special way is on that book. The word anointing isn't just a feeling or a goosebump, but it literally is that moment when God with his hand comes down and lays it on us or lays it on a meeting or lays his hand on an experience and by the presence of his hand, the Holy Spirit is imparted, the power of God is imparted into our lives. And when the Bible says Jesus was anointed, it literally means the hand of God was on Jesus. And my friend, the Bible says we've all received an anointing. That's 1 John 2 verse 20 which means the hand of God is on our life. If we are in Christ, the hand of God is on our life, and we are anointed. So what does it mean to be anointed? It means that a hands-on experience, that, that oil is rubbed in, and it's the, it's the pleasure, it's the, the of God, it's, it's his approval, it's his blessing. That's exactly right. So tomorrow we're gonna be back, and we're gonna look at the next part of the verse. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. power. What does that word power mean? Hmm. But I think today that's enough for you to think about.